Q&A questions for week 8. My first question from my Tyson Fantasy Flavor uh, blog is from Jeff. Um, I wanted to answer Jeff's two questions that he wanted uh, me to answer. And um, the first one was about the Cowboys. And I want to say, Jeff, you know, the first question is yes. You know, the Cowboys have, have definitely found their rhythm. Tony Romo is playing some really good football nowadays. And uh, they, you got a guy like uh, Mike Austin that's coming to his own. He definitely has a hyperspace into the superstar category right now. Uh, keep Austin on your team. And um, I guarantee you there's more to come from this guy because this guy is loving him. He's loving the spotlight. He's a young guy, and he's proven the league that we don't need T.O. Uh, you, you got me, you know, to make it happen. So he's definitely making it happen, man. So I'm really happy to see that he stepped up to the plate. And the second question, Jeff, um, you had asked about Jeff uh, Fisher, you know, his tenure with the um, – with the um, you know Titans, you know if he's going to be there for the long haul, I, I would say yes, he's going to be there. You know um, he's a great coach. Uh, it'd be foolish um, for them to get rid of Jeff Fisher at this point. It's not about Jeff Fisher. It's about the quarterback situation right now. He needs a solid quarterback that could lead this team. Um, and I'm sorry to say Vince Young is not the guy. You know um, he's just he's not ready yet. You know so it takes some quarterbacks you know, longer to, to develop, to, to basically to be a leader. It took Joe Montana three years before he figured out that he's going to be the guy for the 49ers. So, uh, you know, I, I just think, you know, Vince has been, a, it's been a tough situation on Vince, you know, throwing him to the Wolves early in his career, and then he got injured last year. And, you know, just, you know, it just wasn't a good fit for him so far. And uh, I, if I was the, the Titans, I would definitely uh, go look for a veteran quarterback uh, or, or, or see if anyone that can step up on the team that can make it happen. Because, you know, Kerry Collins is kind of like, he, he's, he, he's had his best days and, uh, and, and he just, he's, he's not motivated anymore to, you know, to help lead this team. And uh, speaking about quarterbacks, um, you know, there's three teams that are seriously uh, having problems with, with quarterbacks, you know. Um, you know, the first one is the 49ers, you know, of course, you know, they just announced Alex Smith to be the starting quarterback this week. And Michael Singletary, is, he's just looking for a spark to get his team back on track. And Alex Smith showed late in the second half, you know, that he could lead the 49ers uh, by, you know, he, he, he scored three touchdowns, he, he threw three touchdown passes to Vernon Davis. And they almost beat the Houston uh, Texans. But, you know, it's, it's going to be a little more than that, man. Um, you know, I, I, I'm not, uh, hopefully Alex will do well. You know, and, and get these guys on track. But man, you know, you know, I think the system is really uh, where where it needs to be addressed. You know, they need to get the West Coast offense where they're throwing the you know throwing the ball to Crabtree down the field. You know, um, utilizing his talents because um, you know you can have all the talent in the world, but if you don't get, put him in a situation to have success, you're not going to win. And the second uh, quarterbacks that you know that are having problems are the Browns, you know, uh, Cleveland Browns with Derek Anderson and Brady Quinn. You know, I, I like Derek Anderson. He, he's by far better than uh, Brady Quinn. Brady Quinn is not ready either, you know. He's a big quarterback, you know, a strong arm, but, you know, he can't win the big one, you know, and, 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 and he makes a lot of mistakes, you know. I think the Browns need to be patient with, uh, be patient with um, Derek Anderson and, and just stick with them. And he'll win you some games if you just, you know, be patient with this guy because he's, he's proved that he can win. And Raiders, oh, my gosh. There's no hope for Russell leading this team. Um, he's just not ready, you know. It's, he needs an overhaul, man. He needs a quarterback coach. He needs somebody to, you know, hold his hand and, and break down all the things that he's doing wrong, you know, so he won't make the same mistakes week after week after week, you know. It's a, it's a good time for the Raiders to call Jeff Garcia and bring him back because – they had a veteran guy on the team, and they let him go. I just can't believe they let somebody like Jeff Garcia go when Jeff could basically kind of, you know, uh, bring um, Russell along the way so he can so he can be that solid quarterback, you know, um, that the Raiders are looking for. You know, they, they need a guy that can, you know, help him, uh, you know, lead the way and show him the way, you know. And, and Jeff Garcia was a guy. You know, he was a guy that could help. You know, the Raiders, you know, win some games, but also um, have DeMarcus Russell learn from this guy. So 
that's that's my pitch for all the uh, Q and A for the week, and I'll see you next week.